How do I tell my husband I want a divorce? My name is Paul Friedman. I'm the founder of the Marriage Foundation, and you've come to the right place because you've come to the wrong place to learn how to tell your husband you want a divorce. You've come to the place where I'm going to ask you to take another look at things. I used to be a divorce mediator, so I had an association with a group, a support group called Second Saturday that helped women go through divorce. It began like 30 years ago or more. And things have changed, but I changed too. In the early 2000s, I think it was 2001, I shifted my practice altogether to helping couples stay together instead of helping them get a divorce. And so with my newfound information, that is not what you find in most places. I would go to Second Saturday and the group was anywhere from 60 to 90 ladies. And I'd tell them, you don't need to get a divorce. Now there's always one or two people who do. Maybe their husband's a criminal, maybe he's a pedophile, something really far out there. But unfortunately in our society, the standard for getting a divorce is so low. Now that doesn't mean I want you to live in misery. In fact, when I wrote my first book, I told people, I don't want you to get a divorce for the sake of your children, but I don't want you to be suffering either. So I'm going to show you how to change your marriage, how to turn it around, how to make it amazing. Every day when you got married, let's go way back. When you wanted to get married, it was to be happy. It was to experience unconditional love. Those were reasonable expectations. What happened? He changed, I changed, she changed. No. What happened? The problem began before you got married. You didn't get married with these ideas of there would be maintenance involved. Nobody does. Everyone gets married as if marriage is a destination. And so you're not thinking, okay, I have to remember, da, 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 da. It's not like when you have a car and you have to remember to check the oil, change the oil, check the pressure in your tires. It's not like that. We don't have that kind of guidance in our society for marriage. So everything went to hell. You blamed each other. Maybe there's infidelity. Maybe there's constant fighting even in front of the children. All kinds of things are going wrong in virtually every marriage when people are ready to get a divorce. I'm asking you to consider that you invested so much time and energy into your husband, into the marriage and the family. Now's not the time to just throw up your hands and quit. Now's the time to take a look at what is my role? How can I change it? How can I get the love that I wanted? And some of you are going, no, oh, I'm so angry right now. Well, that can be dealt with too. We're one of the largest organizations. We're a nonprofit. We're one of the largest organizations for helping couples survive what you're going through right now. You could write in to one of, one of our counselors. It's a free service. You could take a course, which is the way to go. You don't have to tell your husband you want a divorce. Don't tell him. Do research first and see if you and he and your marriage can be saved. That's the best advice that you will ever receive. Please 
heed it. All right. I'm going to leave you on this note. Hopefully this is making sense to you. Don't take that step. Because the, the bridge between you, the connection between you is already shaky, obviously. Don't blow it up. All right. Blessings to you. Blessings to your husband. Blessings to your family. Don't give up. It's not the time to do so. We don't use traditional Western psychology, psychology methods because it doesn't help people. We use methods and principles that actually work. Actually works. Okay. God bless. Thank you.